What's up y'all, it's your girl Kadiani here, back with another video. And as titled, today I'm going to be installing this beautiful 26 inch curly reddish brown wig given to me by, some people say you nice. Is it Eunice or you nice? From Eunice Hair. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was so nervous. In the clips, y'all gonna see how scared I was to do this. This is my first ever best install that I ever did. So you guys are gonna see it from start to finish. Let's get straight into this video. All right, y'all. So this is the wig right here. It came with this little styrofoam on it, which I'm really glad that it did. I don't know if y'all can see, but it still has some black dots in there. Now the wig was bleached, obviously, because look at the color. And like it looks good but it still has some black spots so i am going to bleach it for like maybe 20 minutes and in the back right here it has like double knots so i'm gonna like press into that part and let it sit for like 30 and just lightly tap it in the front part and let that sit for 20 and then i'm going to pluck pluck the wig and customize it how i like it this is the lace as you can see it comes with three combs you see one two and three and it comes with the adjustable straps right here before i actually get into bleaching the knots i'm going to go ahead and just lightly damn i'm going to go ahead and just lightly spray the hairline with this tresemme hairspray just so i can hold the flyaways back so And we're going to flip her inside out straight like that. This is the powder. I'm going to be using the Wella Charm powder lightener. And I'm going to use the Wella Charm 40 volume developer. Now, I don't measure. I just go by, by eye. So, I'm going to use, I'm going to use like this much. What is that? got down 15 milliliters. I don't know the conversion. So we kind of want it like thickish, but not too thick and not too loose either. So I'm gonna put a little bit at first and I'm gonna mix it. See like that, that's not the consistency we want. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. Like I'm trying to show y'all as detailed as possible, just so y'all can see step by step what I'm doing. And if I mess up on something, y'all could correct me like, oh, you could have did this, you could have did that. This this look like this look like a good consistency to me. Am I right? Alright. I think it's too loose. I think it's too loose. It was too loose. And my hand just squished into it. So instead of letting it sit for like 20, 30 minutes, I'm gonna just let it sit for 10 minutes. I'm keeping my eye on the knots. The ones in the back are bleaching pretty fast. So yeah, I think 10 minutes is good enough. Once this sits, I'm gonna wash it out with purple shampoo and I'm gonna come back and we're going to pluck her. All right, y'all, so I washed her out. This is her hair now. Like she still has a few, a few dark spots, but for the most part in that center where I was complaining about the double knots being like super dark, those lightened up pretty well. In the front, there's like a couple dark spots, but I'm not worried about that. So I'm gonna work in sections. I have my good tweezers. The hair is wet already, so that's good. And I'm just going to pluck. I am going to use the white towel method so that I can see the hairline and how much I'm plucking.
All right, y'all, so I finished plucking and this is what we're looking like right now. I feel like I need to pluck a little bit more, but especially like towards the back here. But other than that, the hairline looks good to me. And then this one I'm gonna be using, the even spray, never used this spray before. This is extreme firm hold, fast drying, no residue or buildup, 20 times hold for lace and it's sweat resistant. Y'all know I be working out in the gym so I need something. Hold this thing down, dang I can't see. So I'ma let it sit. I'm not gonna use no blow dryer or nothing. I'ma let it sit for like 20 minutes till it's dry, okay? I lied. Ghost bond. So I'm gonna do dots. Okay, so once it dries clear, I'm gonna put another layer. Now that it's pretty much clear, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe my forehead down of any like excess alright we're gonna put the back comb in make sure it's where I want it I'm gonna lay the middle down here and kind of like smooth it in I'm just going to detangle it and set it up for styling. So now it's time to cut 
the lace. Both sides are cut to the baby hairs. I don't want nothing crazy. I want something light, like if I'm doing my own edges. So now that I plucked and pulled out my baby hairs, what I'm going to use as my baby hairs, then I'm going to go in with the even spray and here, 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 and here. And then I'm going to set it with this. Okay. Now let's get to styling for real. So this is what I'm going to be using, the Camille Rose Honeydew Liquid Moisture Refresher. And I'm going to be using this mousse because this is all I have and I don't have a spray bottle. So this is going to count as my water. Okay guys, edges, alright, let's do this. Change locations because it's not long enough. So I'm gonna attempt to do this. Towel so I can see. Yeah, yeah. Who you know? <sighs> Yo. Wrap it for the last time, and then we really gonna be done. The moment y'all been waiting for. Y'all look at this, look, look at this sleigh, y'all. 
Cause who told me to lay this wig this good? Who? Do y'all see the baby hairs though? Y'all like, I feel like, I feel like a bad bitch. Excuse my language, but I feel like a bad bitch. Like this is the first time I've ever laid a wig like this. Y'all, they better watch out. All right, y'all. So y'all seen me go through it, right? Y'all see me go through it. Like, even though I went through, like, a little, like, some mistakes and stuff like that, I feel like I still did a pretty damn good job. So, I'm excited for, like, my future installs. Like, I don't know what to do better. Like, this is an install I've actually taken my time with. Watched YouTube videos and TikToks and learned different type of tips to get this particular look so now i'm just ready to take my wigs to another level okay so if you guys think i did pretty good give me a thumbs up comment down below any other tips i'm always free to learning like new information like i want to get better at these wigs okay so comment down below any tips what you think how i did whatever yada 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 and then don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to share and most of all don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so that you're notified when i upload a new video and also make sure you guys follow me on instagram tropical.punch underscore and on tiktok kdiani because i'd be having like a blast on tiktok so until next time peace It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave, so I'll